I ain't got nobody comb, Shay. How more detail without a comb? What's up, y'all? This your girl, Gold Bob, coming at you guys to show you guys how I detangle my hair. Listen, detangling my hair is like the worst part about my hair. That's like what I hate the absolute most about my hair is detangling it. So, anyways, y'all, remember that video I posted yesterday about with me taking down my hair and I had it curly and all of that chat. Throw that out the window, okay? Throw it out the window. Okay, first off, before I show you that, look at this. Look at this gray. Let's zoom in on that. It's about to go. I'm tired of it. I can't. I can't. No. So, my hair had balled up after the end. It's still curly and deep. And it's just, it's just in there, girl. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to moisturize my hair. Yeah, as y'all, let me, let me, before I do that, I'm going to get into all of this. Girl, so I am going to moisturize my hair. Just as that child, I don't even know. I'm just gonna go through it and try to get the moisturizer deep off in there, you know, because that's gonna be the hardest part is getting to where the root <laughs> at the base of the hair. Yeah, that's gonna be the hardest part to detangle. And I'm just gonna spray enough S curl spray this S curl spray y'all y'all should know me by now this S curl spray that's what's in this bottle all the time S curl spray and it's kind of like half and half with water or I think it might be three three quarters S curl spray three fourths and a fourth of water it might just be half and half because I think it's a little more than a third of water so I'm just going to drench my hair not drench it but you know moisturize it not too not too moist but once i get all of this on the child i can't even talk right now because i'm just i'm just thinking of what this process is about getting ready to make me feel like you know i feel like it's gonna make me feel some type of way <laughs> some type of way okay so my hair is all moisturized and this is what my braid outs look like all I got to do is wet my hair again and then my my braid out will come semi back to life but I'm semi fin to um comb out these little tangles Lord Jesus help me oh, I, might, I, I might be too close am I too close up on y'all girl hold on okay so I'm gonna spray my nape area real good because I want that to be good and moisturized when I get to it. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to let that moisturizer sit in. Well, I just sprayed this side of my glasses so I can't see nothing over here. So I'm just going to let this moisturizer sit in, girl. And, um, we're going to take them glasses off, child. Ooh, my, my edges, my edges. Jesus. Anywhere that's prone to that you know is going to be like a tough spot, make sure you get that first too. So I'm just going to let this moisturizer sit on for a few good little minutes. Maybe about 15 minutes or 10 minutes or so or whatever. And then I'm going to come back to y'all and um, show you guys how I... No, I'm not. I'm just going to go ahead and go with the flow here. I'm going to separate my hair. I was going to come back. I'm going to separate my hair, first of all, with my fingers down the middle four ways over here and hold on this is how I separate I just rake my fingers through like that back and forth and then over here I'm gonna pull this to this side and pull that to that side and then I got the back So I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put my hair four ponytails with my little um scrunches. Here's a little baby scrunches, Nivea scrunches, and I'm going to let it sit pulled tight. And why me putting it in two ponytails? When me putting it in ponytails like this, this will allow my roots right here to stretch allow my roots to stretch so when I do go to detangle um hopefully hopefully it won't be as hard so I'm gonna take this it's not a straight part y'all I'm just literally like pulling the hair from one side to the next hey hey it might be a little straight hey shout out to the fingers okay so 
I'm gonna pull my hair. You see how I pulled it? I'm gonna pull it in four ponytails. And that's gonna cause my hair to stretch at the roots at the base of my hair shaft. Ow! I got blind. It's gonna cause my hair to pull and um while I'm waiting on my S curl to marinate, uh my hair is being stretched at the roots. So that way my detangling process will be a little bit easier once I decide to detangle my hair. And I'm gonna go this way and get the other side. Bring that through as well. And put this one in the ponytail. And once I get it in four ponytails, I'm going to let it sit, okay? I already said that, didn't I? So I'm going to let it sit for a few minutes. Go in there and fix my husband something to eat because I can feel him in my presence right now. And then I'll be back. <laughs> I ain't know you was right there. <laughs> you hungry, baby? Yeah, yeah. I know. And I'm going to put this one in the ponytail. Yeah. See, this in the point here. I'm put, I'm doing it as tight as I can stand it, but not too tight. Well, pulling my hair out, okay? Not too tight. This is an easier way that I find that um to detangle my hair. I discovered that the last time, girl. So, um, I'm going to spray a little bit more on this. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to twist it. I'm going to twist it. And that way it's pulling this too. So that way when I go to detangle, it won't be so hard. This is like detangling before the detangle. Okay? Just going to twist it up and wrap it around in like a, um, what you call them things? A bantu knot. A, a ghetto bantu knot, cause this ain't official, okay? Just wrap it around, no matter what you look like. Don't, don't worry about that part. Spray this here a little bit more. This is my technique, y'all. I know this is gonna be like a, this gonna be a longer video because I, I think y'all need to see what I'm doing, okay? Cause a lot of y'all like my hair videos. And then in maybe a year from now y'all gonna be saying how did you do that to your hair how did you get your hair to grow because it's gonna grow girl so i'm twisting this out i take my time with it and i be gentle i wouldn't have just comb through my hair and popped all them naps with what i know today back in the days honey i would have took all of that hair that i just this hair that i just separated in four sections and honey we would have been popping naps and crying and popping pills you hear me so um this is the best way that I can do it. And while um while it's marinating, I'm gonna go cook breakfast real quick. Feed my husband, wife do this, you feel me? So I got to and by that time I'll be ready to record the second half of this video, okay? So this twisting right here helps this this part of my hair, the hair shaft, get um, stretched. It's like I'm stretching my hair. Um, so that way, by me stretching my hair, it won't be as hard to de detangle because it's pretty much um, sh it's stretched out. You know, stretched hair is easier to detangle than hair that's curled up. You know, so. I'm trying to show y'all the easy way out, okay? The easy way out. Put some S curl spray on that thing. Smooth it out. Put it in two sections like this and twist. Real simple. A lot of y'all that's transitioning, maybe, or who stretch your relaxer for long periods of time like I do, this is a good method for you to do when you have a bad problem with detangling your hair. 
I mean, I know it's longer than actually just me getting the comb and went, I could have went straight at my head and just started combing, but um, this will make life easier if you separate your hair into sections. Be patient, let the S curl spray do its magic, honey, and then you come on back and separate your hair. By me putting the ponytails in it, that pulls the root a little bit and that allows for that to stretch and that to stretch at the base of my hair shaft here, all of this. That allows for that to stretch. I ain't put this ponytail in tight enough. I'm not feeling that, so what I'm gonna do is put another one here so it can stretch a little bit tighter. Little, I wanna pull a little bit more, so that way when I get, when I do get to the um, detangling process, it won't be so bad, okay? So I got that one stretched. I might need to do that one too because I don't feel I don't feel it stretching over here. But I don't got no more. What what ponytail thing? Somebody somebody done robbed me. I done got robbed. Straight, straight like that. I got robbed. Oh there you go. I thought I got robbed, y'all. I got my Nivea bow box. Sorry, Nib. Okay, and then I'm gonna put another one on this one because this one ain't as tight as I want it. You know, don't do it too tight that you got a headache, but do it tight enough for it to pull your hair. Not pull your hair, but sh stretch your hair. Speaking of Nivea, she must be hearing me going up Boba Shop. She don't woke up. So, okay, I might want to twist that one one more time. It's not tight, it just looked like that because the little ponytail thing is so small. But I'll pull it one more time and get it. I'm going to just leave it just like that. Okay, okay. Now I'm going to do this one last little spray to coat the top of it and around. Yes, I have to do all this just to detangle my hair. So now I'm done with that. So I'm going to let it sit, go fix breakfast, let it marinate, and go fix my husband something to eat. What you doing? Oh, go fix my husband something to eat, and then I'll be back with y'all. Okay, okay, hold on. Okay, y'all, so I am back and I decided that I'm going to I'm going to um, cut this video short right here and just leave this as how I prep my hair um, to detangle it because this video is like very long now and I don't want it to be like long and drawn out so y'all stay tuned to my next video which will be how I actually go through my hair and detangle okay so y'all thanks for watching this video and that's all I got to say and yeah and I'll holler at y'all later bye